going back to our multi-condition if statement like if we want to test if uh, if a few conditions are true for example like we saw in, the pr in a different video um, we wanted to test if the player's guess uh, equals the number and also we wanted to know if the variable alive uh, is true and in different situations if you would need to evaluate many many conditions like this uh, well apparently you'll have to line them all up just like that one if right after another if right after another if etc etc to test if all of these conditions are true and only in the end will you take whatever action you'd like to take if uh, if all conditions are true however there's a way to make this a little simpler instead of lining up so many if statements together you can actually test multiple conditions inside one single if statement and this is done with uh, operators that are called logical operators here is the logical and operator it's two times the ampersand symbol which on my keyboard is shift and the number seven now we can test for both our conditions in one line and it will have the desired effect right now the evaluation over here doesn't only depend on whether the player guess matches the number it will also depend on whether alive is true because we tied both of these conditions together with the logical and operator the logical and operator is a little command which does like this it takes whatever is on the left and looks at it as a boolean true or false and as we saw in previous videos we do get a true or false results out of this evaluation right over here because the equals operator will test uh, both of these expressions and will return it will give us it will yield either true or false so the AND operator will take whatever's on the left and check if it's true or false if it is true then he will continue if it is false he will right away without even bothering to continue with whatever's on the right side it will right away return it will right away yield the value false so again first it tests if we get out of this true or false if it's true then we'll test if we get true out of this if we do then finally the logical and operator will return true to the if statement um, if this evaluates true but this evaluates false then the and operator will return false because both of the expressions the one on the left and the one on the right must be true for him to return to yield true so you will use the logical and operator when you want both expressions to be true and um, if any of them is not true you would like to skip away that's when you would want to use the and operator here's another logical operator you can use it is the logical or operator which is twice the pipe symbol on my keyboard it's uh, the key that's right below uh, backspace and right above above the enter key what this uh, logical or operator does is it will test for at least one of these two things to be true so it will start by testing this one and if it returns true if we get true out of this he won't even bother continuing and he will right away yield true for our if statement um, if this is not true so then it will try again with the other expression on the right side if that gives us true then even though this was false but since one of them was true so the OR operator will return true that's what logical OR does it will return true if either this one or that one is true so if all you care about is that just one of these two expressions should be true you would want to use the OR operator if you want to make sure that both of them are true then you would like to use the AND operator 
So yes, this is all about checking if things are true or not true. Everything over here is uh, like a boolean variable type, which is either true or false, or either zero, which is false, or any other value, which is true. Which brings us to the another um, logical operator, which is the not operator using the ex exclamation mark symbol. Not can be put right before any expression if we want to make sure that, meaning if we are trying to test that something is not true. For example, if for some reason you would like to test whether the player's guess is not the number, one way to do that is to test whether they equal and then add the not op operator in the beginning. It's a game of yes, yes, not, not, which means that if I say yes, I mean yes. If I say yes, yes, I still mean yes. If I say yes, not, it means I am saying that yes, I would like to say not. So that turns out to be not. And if I say not, yes, again, this turns out to be not, if you think about it. And finally, if I say not, not, surprising what comes out is I mean yes, because I'm saying no. I don't want to say no. So saying not, not results in yes. Once you got that figured out, you can understand that over here we're testing that if this is trying to figure out whether something is true, adding the not operator in the beginning will reverse the result whether it's true or not. In this type of situation, this is pretty much like using the uh, not equals operator, which has the same effect. It checks whether these two uh, expressions are not equal. And this is another way of doing it with the not operator. If not these two things equal. So there you have it, three very cool logical operators which are very useful to evaluate not only one single um, expression but you can line up a whole bunch of expressions to evaluate inside one single uh, if statement. However this can get pretty complicated uh, when you line up a whole bunch of evaluations and logical operators. We can mix together some relational operators which test if something is more or less and then we can add a logical AND operator which will try to make sure that what's on the left is true and also what's on the right is true and we can have in the same expression also the OR operator and as you see all this together could turn out to be a little cryptic because we're not sure what happens first which can make a very big difference if this happens first and then we end that together with what's on the left and then the OR operator comes into play, things may end up being true. But if it happens in the other direction, then things may end up with a different results. The solution for this is to enclose the little bits of your calculation inside of parentheses. This will make sure that things will be tested against the intended expressions and in the correct order so you can so you can enclose these little bits of code inside of parentheses and then if you want to make sure that this happens before that or the opposite you can add some more parentheses which encloses this section in a parentheses whatever is inside parentheses will happen before whatever is not inside parentheses so if you look closely what happens first is the deepest set of parentheses over here and over here then we do the R the logical OR operation which is inside the more shallow layer of parentheses and finally we do these parentheses over here and finish off with whatever is outside of parentheses altogether which is the AND operator so use parentheses to make to clarify the order and the belonging of expressions with their operators. Chew on that for some time, it gets complicated.